Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Cinders. We're gonna pick up where we left off, which was the part on sisters, because we're having trouble with our sisters, I guess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the main hallway is empty, no surprise there. As I thought, everyone is busy right now. I don't have much time before dinner, but I'm sure I could sneak out and be back in time. Sneak out for what? Is there something I have to do? All that talk about my mother reminded me that I haven't been to her grave in a long time. Mmm, I see. It might be dangerous to sneak out during the day, but I don't know if I'll get another chance. I'll just have to move as quickly as I can. Fine, oh, so you we say don't even so. get an option. No, we don't. So you go right to the cemetery. Do not pass forests, just go directly to the cemetery. Mm hmm. <laughs> Ooh, it looks cool here. I like it. Fancy. I don't even remember how long it's been since I last visited the cemetery. Mother's grave isn't hard to find. It's guarded by a statue of an angel crying gracefully. Father's idea. Is it the one in the back there? I guess so. Looking at how much pain the angel is in, it's clear that father took mother's death very badly. I can't bring myself to look away from the statue. I'm sorry, father. The grave must be in terrible condition by now. I haven't had time to care for it. Wait, the grave is clean. Not just clean, but polished as well. Someone must be caring for it. Uh-oh. That's weird. Step away from the grave. Who's there? Oh. oh it's all right. This is okay. this is you, then, I'm guessing. I've had it with all of your grave robbers. Folk like you have no shame. What are you talking about? I'm not a grave robber. Of course you aren't, and I'm the... Hold on. I know you. You're Carmosa's stepdaughter. I am. I suppose you know Carmosa? Do you normally dress up like that, or are you just playing a little bit early for the masquerade? Can't tell exactly. No, Carmosa, of course not, but I sure know you. Well, I guess you have an advantage over me, then. I have no idea who you are. You don't know? I live in the town. Folk there called me Madame Gade. <laughs> I, I guess. I don't know how you say that. Best guess, anyway. Madame Gade is in the witch that everyone talks about? <laughs> So you have heard of me. The stories they tell are an exaggeration, though. Yeah, we'll see about that. Those half-wits label anything they don't understand as dangerous. Even more so, seeing as I'm a woman who's smarter than they are, I suppose it frightens them. Ah, interesting. So she'll be a prominent character as well. Cool. Or maybe it's just for every character. <laughs> it seems to be know. everyone so far. Although it doesn't stop them from running to me anytime they have a problem they can't fix. Personally, I prefer the term wise woman. It's a lot more appropriate, I think. All right. Um, so she's not a witch and people can be stupid. Kind of saying the same thing, isn't it? Yeah. I guess unless saying... Unless this one's supposed to be more skeptical, like, so you're not a witch? I don't know, what do you think? Let's just say people can be stupid, because that's true. People can be stupid. We have seen that so far. People can be so stupid sometimes. The instant they see something they don't understand, they fear it. Here's what she just said. It's ridiculous and close-minded. <laughs> Damn sure it is. That's a very bitter outlook on life, though. I'm sad that someone so young already sees the world that way. Sad, but you said the exact same thing. Yes, but I'm old. I'm allowed to be bitter and cynical. <laughs> there you go. See? I'm old and bitter, child. The world has thrown its worst at me, but you are young. You should be dreaming of doing great things, not going around calling people stupid and closed-minded. Well, you're one to say that. <laughs> she doesn't look old, but okay. Can't really tell with that <laughs> makeup on her face. So I'm supposed to be a naive dreamer just because I'm young? That's ridiculous. If you continue to argue with me, I will turn you into a toad. Wow, that's fair. Wait, I thought you said you didn't know magic. I only said that the stories about me have been exaggerated, but that hardly matters now. Uh, exaggerate. We just got into a mild argument because you're being hypocritical about <laughs> being cynical. And uh, you're threatening to turn us into a toad. Hmm. We'll see how exaggerated they are, I guess. I guess so. After all, it got you to stop arguing, didn't it? True, but still. Why are you here anyway? You scared me when you shouted at me. I was just visiting an old friend. I was on the way back from picking some herbs in the forest by the lake. Oh, I've heard that the forest and lake are special. My father used to tell me that they're magical. You weren't the one that was collecting our stuff from before, were you? Yeah, I'm thinking. And we're talking about magic again. I can't help it. The atmosphere the atmosphere here is so mysterious. It does feel as if this place is magical. Do you believe in magic? Oh no, not <laughs> this question again. I believe in myself. Wow. What? 
What does that even mean? Um, it seems like she does a little bit, doesn't it? Because she was like leaving the things for the fairies. Yeah, I guess so. But she was kind of doing that out of nostalgia as well. I guess it's true. So I'm going between like maybe one of these two, maybe a little or I believe in myself. But why would you say I believe in myself? It's so cheesy. I guess it's kind of cheesy. I don't know. It just seems like something you'd say. Whatever. Maybe a little. Maybe a little. My father raised me to believe, and I suppose I do miss my childhood when I could believe wholeheartedly. But there are so many strange and wonderful things in this world. Maybe magic really does exist. Your reasoning makes sense. And? And what? Does magic exist? <laughs> well, that depends on what you consider magic. Years ago, people thought medicine was magic. Well, can you turn a person into a toad, or are you kidding? Because if that's something you can do, then I would say magic does exist in this world. Some still think that way. We label things we don't understand as magic, but then what does that mean? People call fairies magical, but we could also consider them normal creatures who live in the world like we do. Wait, are fairies real? Birds fly and fish breathe underwater, but we don't consider them to be magical. What makes fairies different? Magic. <laughs> fish, fish have gills, they don't have magic. So Unless there is that... something that fairies have that calls them to be magical. That's, that's true. scientifically um, viable or something. So does that mean that fairies exist? Haha, -ha, well, it would certainly be unwise to claim otherwise while we're in this forest. Perhaps you would like to come visit my shop next time you're in town. Tomorrow, maybe. Oh, you have a shop in town? Oh, all right. <laughs> I thought you were like an outcast witch for a second there. Maybe. Is there any reason you're inviting me? Do I need a reason? Perhaps it's merely that I like you. Or we could talk about your mother. Oh. Wait, you knew my mother? Well, she I figured just someone she had knew... to. Ugh. Yeah. Of course I did. Who do you think has been tending to her grave all this time? It surely wasn't you. Oh, burn. So you were friends with my mother? How dare you insult us? There, there. Your questions can wait for tomorrow. I'm tired and I need to return home. Shouldn't you hurry home as well? You'll be in deep trouble if Carmosa discovers you're gone. How did you know that I snuck out? Um, idiot. Who knows, maybe obvious. I saw it in my crystal ball. She knows uh -huh. a lot about us. Hmm. Suspicious. Or maybe it's just that I know Carmosa wouldn't let you wander around the woods on your own. We're not in the woods, we're in a cemetery. <laughs> I really want to see you tomorrow, but it well, won't be easy. Obviously the cemetery's in the woods. Carmosa usually keeps a watchful eye on me. Well then, you'll just have to think of something, won't you? Well, we've lied before, so we can probably do it again. You won't get anything out of life if you don't take a few risks. I guess so. I'll try to come tomorrow. Excellent. I'll see you then. Take care of yourself. That was certainly an unexpected meeting, but what a character. I definitely want to speak with her again. Yes, I certainly did not expect it anyway. Yeah. I feel like this game has like a large cast of characters, actually. Yeah, it's pretty uh, sizable anyway, at least yeah. for the main characters. For now, I just better just concentrate on getting home. Magic or not, the witch was right about one thing. She's What's not a that? witch. If Carmosa finds out I snuck out, I'll be in deep trouble. <laughs> That's for sure. All right, we could go back to the cemetery again. Why? I don't know what. You no, know, I'm kind of curious just to see, like, because there was an option to go back to town as well. So I'm just gonna see what that does. Even though I, I do want to go back to the residence. That's my real choice. I just want to see what happens if we go to the cemetery again. Like, what could possibly happen here? I can't stay here any longer. Carmosa will notice that I've left soon if she hasn't already. I prefer not to think about what she'd do if that happened. Alright, so it's just again like, so then but why... thou must. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if that delays our time, so I'm going to reload anyway. I just was curious. Alright. And back home. Why give that as an option? I don't know. Hmm, all clear in the main hall, and I don't hear anyone screaming my name. Usually a good sign. Looks like I made it back in time. Oh, this guy. Yeah, he still hasn't gotten a name yet. No. Uh, pardon me, ma'am. I was just on my way out. Hey, I know you. You're that man who's with Tobias last night. Don't- Oh my god, you idiot. Why would you say that out loud? Keep your voice low, missum. I'm trying to remain incognito here. What are you even doing here? Oh, nothing important enough to bother you. Tis merely boring business stuff. Is that supposed to be a joke? Uh... What threat could we possibly have? Yeah, I, I don't really know. He's not going to tell us if he uh, doesn't want to. No. And threatening him is just stupid at this so point. So just say, fine, keep your so secret, whatever. right? Fine, if it matters so much to you, keep your secrets. I don't care enough to press the issue. Now, now. 
No need for you to pout over such a silly little thing. Do you have trouble seeing? I'm hardly pouting. Now get out. <laughs> fine, fine. You got me. I came to tell Lady Carmosa Wait, a fine why is bit he of information. Us? Well, I guess it worked. Didn't I already tell you to keep your secret? I know women folk pretty well. If you say you don't care, it means you do. Oh. Yes, it worked. You are trying my patience. Leave now. Fine, fine. Couldn't hurt to be a little more friendly. What a disagreeable he man. Tips his cap. It's true, I'm curious, but I want nothing to do with him. If Carmosa's interested in something, I'll figure it out myself. I could ask someone else in the household if they know anything about this guy. Carmosa is certainly out of the question, but maybe one of the sisters? Then again, I can never tell if they're on my side or not. It might be best to play dumb and see what happens. Wow. Uh, hmm. I don't know. We had like a moment. I don't even remember which one that was. I don't Sophia. Okay, it was Sophia. But I don't know if that, but then, I don't know if she liked us any better for that or yeah, not. Yeah, it like seemed like she was going to, and then she hated us. So I think we should just leave it. But she might be excited to like tell some gossip. I don't know. We could try, I guess. Let's try Sophia and see what happens. Maybe Sophia will know something. She's always watching and listening to everything in the house. I'll go look for her. Now that's just great. She's not here either. I thought for sure she'd be hiding out in her room. I don't hide, Sophia. What are you doing in my room? <laughs> Mother said dinner's almost ready, so I had to come fetch you. Where have you been? I was washing up, but I ran into a strange man on the way back. Do you have any idea who that was or what he wanted? What makes you think I'd know anything? Besides, even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Seeing your disappointed face is much more interesting. <laughs> oh. For once, can't you just give a straight answer? The hostility and cynicism isn't necessary. It might not be necessary, but it's definitely fun. The look on your face is priceless. You're hopeless. And very easily amused. It's almost sad that you think I still care. Don't forget the dinner will be served soon. Yes, I'll be there in a minute. That was useless. So nothing really came out of that. No. And a few hours later, does anything else happen? Maybe? I'm so worn out. Of course Carmosa would order me to help the servants wash the dishes. <laughs> I wasn't much more than a servant during dinner either. Unlike the servants, I don't get paid though. Great. Honestly, I'd rather they don't even invite me to dinner. Picking over the leftovers is better than waiting on them. At least I had something to occupy my thoughts while I did chores. A lot happened today. First, there was that talk I had with Sophia. That girl has too many issues to work through, especially when it comes to her self-esteem. Yeah, no doubt. The fact that she keeps pushing me away doesn't help either. I know she's had a rough life, and I know she's been hurt, but it's like she's given up on herself. If she doesn't want to change, there's nothing I can do about it. I don't think there's any chance of us being friends. Ever. Still, the talk with Sophia is nothing compared to meeting Madame Gate in the cemetery. What a woman. She's fascinating, but I just can't figure her out. She might not look imposing, but she doesn't scare me. She seems she feels familiar and trustworthy. She might look imposing. Oh, she might look imposing, but she doesn't scare me. She feels familiar and trustworthy. It's clear she cared about my mother. Otherwise, she wouldn't be tending to her grave. I should visit her in the town as soon as I get the chance, at least to thank her for keeping Mom's grave clean. And then there's the most mysterious event of the day, that weird man coming by the house. <laughs> the shady man, I believe he's called. <laughs> shady character. Yes. He was with Tobias last night, and now he's back to see Carmosa? Something must be going on here. I wonder if Tobias knows why he came. Whoever that man was, he sure gets around. <laughs> I only wish I knew what this information, what his information for Carmosa was. It must be something important. I'll have to dig deeper if I want to find out. Seems like it. So many questions in just one day. This might be my big chance to finally change my life. But I'm too tired to think about it right now. After everything I've done today, I'm feeling so worn out I can barely stand. I had hoped I'd have time to read a book before bed, but I need sleep. Maybe I'll have more energy tomorrow. Alright, I guess we'll see what happens.